Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the diesel models in the Axe FX3. I'm going to start with the Dizzy V4 Silver 4, which is based on the fourth channel of the diesel VH4. We also have these blue models of the Dizzy. Uh, I basically find that they're a little bit kind of duller sounding overall. They're actually really cool for blues tones, which we'll have a look at the end, but uh, these silver modes are where you want to start with the VH4. Silver 3 or Silver 4 are probably going to go be your go-to. We will start with Silver 4 because it's kind of the more metal one. At the stock settings with this uh, York Audio Blend, these are stock cabs. Uh, I've used these cabs for all the other videos on the high gain apps that I've done, so hopefully it keeps it consistent. This is what it sounds like with my PRS SC245. <laughs> So first, let's have a listen to the range of the gain and then we'll EQ it. With the gain quite low, you get this. Which is quite martially, and these amps have a reputation of being these metal monsters, but really, they're just basically a modded martial, and with the gain really low, it does sound very martially. So I quite like that. With the gain all the way up, we get this. There's so much gain on tap here that I find with the gain at around three, uh, you still retain that really nice kind of martially crack, but it doesn't get too saturated or too smooth. So that's where we're going to leave the gain. Let's have a listen to what the EQ controls do. I'm actually going to start with the presence control because I find that this is probably the most powerful one on the VH4 models with the presence at noon, and then we'll go to zero and then we'll go to 10. <laughs> And you can hear that it sort of doesn't do a lot from like the range of like four to seven or something. When you get to about nine, it just goes mental. So I'm going to start with it lower than stock. I normally like to do that with the presence control on apps because what you can do with this is push the treble control with the treble control low and then we'll push it high. And that's pretty cool. We'll do the same with the mids and the bass really quickly. I'll just kind of dial them to where I like them while also giving you guys an idea of the range of the controls. <laughs> That's pretty cool, and then the bass. That's pretty cool. I find that pushing the bass and then adding an input boost, for example, we use the uh, T808 mod, makes a uh, pretty kind of crushing metal tone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That's pretty cool with a Super Overdrive as well. This is sort of like Aussie No More Tears territory. <laughs> which I like a lot. And then the master volume control is really good for just kind of smoothing out the mids and the high end if it's a little bit harsh. So if I crank that up to like six and compensate with a bit of level. which is pretty cool if you crank the mids there. And this, on its own, I found this amp can be a little bit kind of ugly sounding, but as soon as you chuck it into a mix, if you haven't watched my high gain amp comparison uh, that I put up a couple of days ago, check that out because I really think the diesel model just like, it just works. Like it's sort of, it's not too heavy in the low end. It's not too harsh in the highs. It's got plenty of mid range and yeah, it just kind of sits with drums and bass really nicely. So if you're sitting here going, why is this guy raving on about this? It sounds so average. Um, I think it's an amp that works really well in a mix. So that is version four. Four, if we have a listen to the Silver uh, Channel 3, uh, I'll just basically bring the presence down a little bit again and turn the master up, we get this. <laughs> It's kind of like the snarlier version of Silver 4. I really, really like that one. That to me is just a sort of grayed up solid rock tone. And like listening to that, it's got the sort of crack that like a Plexi or a JCM 800 would have. Um, but those amps are kind of thin in the low end. This one is really modern sounding and really beefy in the low end. So it's almost like, you know, a, an appetite for destruction tone meets like, I don't know, Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains or something. It's pretty cool. Like you get, you know, it's good for this kind of stuff. <laughs> So that is Silver 3, and Silver 2 to me is just like a really sweet kind of blues tone with the gain low. You get this. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, it's pretty good for just sort of jamming on. And to have a listen to the difference between that and the blue model, have a listen to that. Uh, and you can hear that this blue model overall, it's just a bit sort of dull sounding to me. <laughs> And the same goes for like channel four and channel three as well. But again, you might prefer the blue models. So that is the VH4 roundup. Let's have a listen to the Herbert models. The uh, they're in here is Herbie which is pretty cool. And we've got a choice between channel two like boosted and channel two backed off. So again, this is a different amp. What I'm gonna do is uh, I might just start with these settings and see if I get lucky. Have a listen to it. It is a little bit thin sounding at those settings. So we're gonna have to dial this one in differently. Basically, if we leave the master where it is, I'll bring the level back up. So let's add a little bit more bass, back off some mids and back off a little bit of treble. And we get this. Um, the kind of sound that I always associate with this amp that I want to go for is like um, Shinedown or Nickelback or a band like that. So sort of getting that uh, Black Album influence tone, but in a way more, I guess, sort of, I don't want to say pop, but let's say like an active rock kind of setting. So if we add a little bit more master with this one, it sort of warms up as well. Have a listen. <laughs> So this is channel three and you can hear that, you know, a common trick with high gain amps is to turn the master volume down and the level up in the XFX. And I find this works pretty well with channel three, pull the mids out and you, you just get this sort of satisfying, modern, chunky mid scoop kind of tone. Whereas if you bring the level down and turn the master up, you're going to get this. <laughs> And that to me is getting more into that sort of like shine down kind of territory, which I really like. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And one thing I like to do with these amps as well is when you're pulling out the mids, why not chuck a pre-EQ to the old 800 hertz, push it by like, you know, 6 dB or something, uh, just to sort of balance it out a little bit. You get this. So that is pretty cool with the Herbie on channel two minus. This is your sort of like cleaned up version of it. So we can turn the input drive down. that to channel 2 plus <laughs> I actually kind of really like channel two minus because it sounds like it's missing a gain stage so it's a little bit clearer and you can you know when you're playing complex chords you can kind of hear the notes a little more it's a little less saturated but for the herberts i am a sucker for channel three i think it sounds so good especially boosted and with the master pushed So that is the Herbie Channel 3, and um, the other one, which is really easy to forget about, is this uh, Dust Metal, which is based on uh, the Axe FX Ultra diesel model, and this is what it sounds like. Straight up, you know, basics, mids at about 3, not changing too much else, you just get a sort of straight up metal sound, it's really good. <laughs> which is very different to the other models, which are obviously based on a schematic and pulling an actual amp apart. I think from what I understand, this is just based on the schematic and it sounds way different, but it has its own thing going on. It's so tight. And if you like Genty stuff, this is the amp to use. You know, I'll do some middle pickup stuff. That sounds wicked. <laughs> So there is our very brief tour of the diesel lamps. I think my favorite is this Herbie Channel 3, the way I've got it set. Uh, again, it's sort of like all the things I like about a Marshall, but pushed into the low, mid, heavy, sort of a uh, modern thing. Oh man, I've gone on way too long. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit subscribe, check out my other clips. Let me know about it in the comments and I will see you guys very soon. Here's some more riffage. <laughs>